Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot Dr. Six Bob Bowman is five. our guest. Uh, and time flies when you've got a great political mind like this uh, with you. And we're going to be talking to a pastor uh, who's fighting against the hate crimes bill in the next uh, hour. So I wanted to have you finish your thought. We were talking during the break about what Teddy Roosevelt's quote. So can you repeat what, what we were discussing here privately? I mean, now they've consolidated their power. Now it's obvious the Federal Reserve's private. We have this banking, Wall Street, Goldman Sachs, you know, holding shares in the New York Fed openly yeah. uh, with their former executive feeding them all the money. I mean, now the public is really starting to get mad and wake up. And now we're hearing, oh, Northcom's going to have troops on the streets. Oh, now we're going to have local CIA offices. Oh, I mean, this is across between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, in my view. So I want you to speak to the whole police state as well, but this attack on the First Amendment. Yeah, well, the First Amendment is designed to protect we the people, the dissenters. That's what it's about. It's not designed to protect the people who are defending government actions. It's designed to protect those of us who are criticizing the government. That's what the Founding Fathers planned. That's what all of our great statesmen have said, Teddy Roosevelt, great Republican president, great fighter of the corporations, uh, said that uh, dissent is the highest form of patriotism. By the way, that's one reason why I've renamed our organization from the Institute for Space and Security Studies to the Patriots. And... The organization is the same 501c3 that's been going on for 27 years, whistleblowing and, and myth-busting and telling the truth. But now the name is The Patriots, has been for the last couple of years. And our website is thepatriots.us. There's a lot of us in this country involved in truth-telling. You're one of the greatest. We are the ones that the First Amendment was written to protect. So it's it it's there for not just unpopular speech, but popular speech. I mean, we're with the Constitution Bill of Rights. Most yep. polls agree with us. It's not that it's even for unpopular speech, though it protects that as well. It's for the speech the establishment doesn't like. That's right. That's right. If, if you look at Project Censored, for example, to every year they repeat 25 stories which have been self-censored out by the uh, corporate monopoly media. And... The thing that ties those all together, the thing they have in common, is not sloppy journalism or carelessness. It's that those 25 stories are dangerous to the establishment. They break the myths by which the corporate government fascist entity controls the people, brainwashes them, and keeps them docile and ignorant. You got interrupted by the break. You were talking about how important it is to break the 9-11 myth because so much of the tyranny we're now living under has been built on that openly. Yeah. Bush and now Obama are publicly switching the entire apparatus of Homeland Security and NORTHCOM around saying, oh, it's for gun owners, it's for liberals, it's for libertarians, it's for animal rights activists, it's for land rights activists. And these federal reports list everybody basically anybody who's politically active in any way is spied on and now they admit the department of defense has regular army spying on ron paul and myself we got the documents mm -hmm. and they go to end the fed protests and they're spying on peaceful peace activists at cookie bakes i mean they're spying on everybody and aren't they the terrorist isn't that anti-american well of course it is of course it is and that's why we've got to insist all of us that we are the pa patriots. We are the patriots. They are the terrorists. Those in and around our government are the terrorists. And, you know, there are a lot of people out there, a lot of my uh, buddies, retired military officers, who know a lot of the truth, but they're intimidated because they want to be patriotic, so they support the government. Baloney! Supporting the government is not what's patriotic. It's doing what's right. It's following the Constitution, honoring the truth, 
serving the people. Our government does not do that. We are the ones that are doing that. We are the patriots. They are the terrorists. Well, I hate to use the overused Hitler parallel, but so much parallels that. The German uh, military, which had, had a lot of esprit de corps and, 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 a, and a great past, they got beguiled and sold out thinking patriotism was following Hitler. Yeah. Instead of patriotism is really what Operation Valkyrie tried to do, mm -hmm. saying no. But yeah. this new world order system isn't in one man and a fuhrer. It's no. a system. I'm going to talk about the architecture of the new world order, what's happening with Obama, and a lot more when we get back. Long segment coming up with Bob Bowman. Stay with us. This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the millionaire patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a Front Sight defensive handgun course, plus a 30-state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar, and get your free handgun. Go to FrontSight.com today. That's F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T.com. Go to FrontSight.com for your training and free gun. We're having great friend, discussions behind the scenes with Dr. Bob Bowman. And I know we got Reverend Ted Pike coming about the hate crime bill. We'll have him on about 15 after, so let's just call and let him know that. The hate crime bill is important. We'll have him on for 45 uh, minutes today, but I want to have as much time with Dr. Bob Bowman as possible here in studio. Uh, okay, from your perspective, and then I want to spend some time on Star Wars, because that's certainly not dead. That's going on now, this global decapitation system, and a lot of what you told me, Privately, it wasn't classified. You said it, some of it had leaked out, so you can tell me about it. It's now kind of coming out in the news. So I wanted to discuss you know, this global decapitation system and what that means for these, uh, these controllers. But the architecture of this global corporate state, from your decades of deep research and also working in some of the most secret uh, black programs, although you were compartmentalized to a certain extent, but in your world travels and knowing a lot of world leaders, what is the architecture of the New World Order? What is the New World Order? What is its end game? Because for my research, it's eugenics and control and enslavement. Uh, and then looking at Obama, uh, you know, is he kind of the New World Order closer? Or will he, can we make him rebel against him? Or will they destroy him if that happens? But, but, I mean, let's just start with the architecture of the New World Order. Well, I think the architecture of the New World Order is, uh, of course... The Council of Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderbergers, the uh, the uh, guys that came out of the old Cecil Rhodes organization, the corporate uh, uh, the, the corporate governing councils. Yeah, but then there's the the uh, the operating arm. Really, is the World Trade Organization, the IMF, and the World Bank, and with those and, and of course since it's under their thumb uh the US government and their enforcers are the US military and we talked before about uh, the military and what happened in Nazi Germany and what's happening here one thing that i've always said and people mention what about martial law uh, are they going to do that? Are they going to round up all of us dissenters? And I said, who are they going to use? Because I don't think my buddies in the military will do it. I think they will encircle us and point their guns outward to protect us from Blackwater, or Z as they call it now. There's a terrorist organization if ever there was one. Uh, that even I sounds just... like a comic book name. I mean, if I was a Pulp Fiction author... Cobra or Z or Chaos. I mean, Z. Yeah, yeah. I'm encouraged by the Oath Keepers. This is an organization that I've joined, and many, many in the military and law enforcement have joined. And it recognizes the fact that our oath of office in the military, in politics, in law enforcement, 
says that we will protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic. I mean, we don't promise to obey a president or a commander. We promise to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic, which, by the way, includes a renegade president and vice president. And so the Oath Keepers have said, in line with our duty to protect the Constitution, we are going to protect Americans who are following the Constitution. We are going to refuse any order to disarm American citizens or arrest American citizens or incarcerate American citizens when those citizens are merely exercising their constitutional rights. And I'm encouraged by that.